kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome back to my another video series on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video series, I am going to teach you how you can use the retrofit library to use the web services and how you can uh, interact and communicate with the PHP with the PHP web services. So, guys. I will completely teach you all the concepts and everything regarding the web services and the re the retrofit and after completing this video series you will be able to understand the existing source code as well as you can create your own application you instead of using the firebase you can use the php web services all right so at the end of this video uh, series i we will create a new and a simple project that will contain uh, the php and also we will create the admin panel for our application all right so here we have let me show you here and uh, all these are all the topics that we are going to cover so first of all i will be teaching you how on how you can use the post request to send the data from are android to php so here i can write android to php web server all right and then we will also see how you how we can input uh, let me write 1.1 so it will be like how to insert data into the mysql database and then we can we will also see how we can fetch the data from the mysql database using the get request all right after that after we are comfortable using the php mysql and after we are uh, we have somehow uh, knowledge of that then we will be using the uh, and i will be teaching you the sign up and the login so so basically we will create an application where a user can a user will be able to log in as well as he can regis register using the sign up method so yes okay and also we will be doing that both by using the post request and the get request all right and then uh, i must add here like 3.1 so here we will how we will uh, use the use the postman software to debug and test our web services okay so i will be giving you a short demo of how we can use the postman software that is used to test our web services all right after that we will see how we can send the json data from our android app to let me see android to web service as well as vice versa all right after that we will also see how we can send the data using the multi-part request of retrofit okay and inside this we will also cover how we can send an image from the uh, our android application to uh, the web server using the uh, multi-part request all right and after we learn all these things then we will be able to create a small admin panel that will contain the crude operations okay so basically we will insert some data then we will uh, how then we will display the data then display only specific data and then we can use update the existing data or remove the existing data so we will be able to write our own application that will interact with our web server and we will be able to to display the data and then we will also be able to display specific data and all the other things all right so i hope that you will enjoy it and if you have any question then you can always comment down below and i will be happy to answer you all so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye